Hello and welcome back to Maths with Mr Duffield. I am the aforementioned Mr Duffield. Welcome back to my series reviewing a past IGCSE paper that I set my UF and my GE. This is the last question on the paper, though not necessarily the last episode of this series, um, about arithmetic series. Let's get to it. The sum of the first 48 terms of an arithmetic series is four times the sum of the first 36 terms of the same series. Find the sum of the first 30 terms of this series. Well, what a monster this is. Well, let's remember, first of all, that at the front of every IGCSE paper is the formula sheet, and on that formula sheet is the formula for the sum of an arithmetic series. It makes sense to copy that across just so that we've got something to, to reference. n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d. And we should be in a position where we know what this all means, n being the number of terms that we're adding in the series, a being the first term, and d being the difference. Now, at the moment, all we know are the numbers of terms in the, in the series and the fact that, obviously, the first 48 is equal to 4 times the sum of the first 36, which means we can, we can form an equation. We can, we can actually form an equality between these two statements, OK? So let's do that. First of all, replace n with 48. 48 over 2 multiplied by 2a, which is something I don't know. 48 take away 1 is 47d. Now that is equal to equal to four times the same formula just with 36 used for n instead. So it will be 36 over 2 and 2a will be the same. And then instead of uh, 47, 36 take away 1 is 35d. Okay? That is effectively the equation that, that, that we've been told, expressed algebraically, um, from the information that we have in this uh, work. Okay, so let's, let's work this out nice, nice and gently. 48 over 2 is 24. And then 36 over 2 is 18. <laughs> You can tell how long a day I've had by the fact I'm using my calculator to check that. My goodness. Um, good. Now, let's try simplifying this. Let's, let's expand. 24 times, times 2a is, is 48a, and 24 times 47 makes 1128d on the left-hand side. And then expanding out this, this uh, inside here, 18 times 2 makes 36a, but then that is in itself being times by 4. 18 times 35 is 630d, but that is in and of itself being multiplied by 4. Okay? That effectively, this is the sum of the first 36 terms of the series, but we've said the sum of the first 48, i.e. this algebra, is equal to um, four times the sum of the first 36. So let's um, work that out. 36 times 4, 144a, and then 630 times 4 is uh, 2,520d. Now I'm tempted to maybe make one of these the subject. I'm going to choose A here. You can choose whichever one, one you like when you're doing this yourself. I'm choosing to make A the subject. So let's um, take away 48A from both sides. And at the same time, why don't we take away 2520D from both sides? So this 2520D disappears, this 48A disappears, and then the operations are, that are left we're obviously going to do 1128d take away 2520d gives me leaves me with negative 1392d and then for 144 take away 48 that's 96a okay now if i divide both sides by 96 i get a on its own so having done so a equals Negative 1392 divided by 96. Excuse me, just bear with me for just 
that tiny moment it takes to put this in the calculator. Negative 14.5. Negative 14.5 D, I should say. Yeah. Negative 1392 D divided by 96 makes negative 14.5 D. Now this, this is useful because effectively I can replace A in the uh, sum formula, this A, with what it is in terms of d. That might, that might help me find the first 30 terms of the series. Let's give it a go. So when n is 30, the formula becomes 30 over 2 times 2a. Again, remember, we know that a is negative 14.5d, so let's replace that with negative 14.5d. Plus n minus 1, remember the formula, n minus 1d, 30 take away 1 is 29d. Now, if you're smart, you'll be seeing what's going on here. 30 divided by 2 is 15. 2 times negative 14.5 is minus 29d plus 29d. Oh, negative 29d plus 29d. That's a 0. It's 15 times 0. So the answer is 0. Yep, that's it. The answer is zero. And the reason it is is because when you uh, substitute in A in terms of D, in this particular case, this value and this value are equivalent in size, one being negative, one being positive, becomes zero. So effectively, the sum of the first 30 terms of this series is zero in this case. A really, really um, interesting and um, applied and advanced way of thinking about the arithmetic series formula and of course your general algebraic manipulation as well lots of areas to make mistakes on and believe me i've made more than my fair share i hope that this helps you understand how this kind of problem works kind of an exploration really until you uh, figure out the right kind of um, way to iterate these kinds of problems I will leave that with you to ponder. I hope that you are doing well and staying productive. I wish you all the best in all of your uh, future work. And for goodness sake, get your work done on Teams. I will talk to you very soon.